okay so welcome back to this channel so in this video we are going to basically add our user profile page in this video and also we will handle our logout okay so we will display the user profile user details uh, you can say that user dashboard and also we will handle our logout uh, button when you click on logout we have to clear all the cookies and log out the user from the uh, application okay so first of all let's handle our profile so for the profile i go to my components for off by it now you can see that here is the official git repo so in the components in the auth i have profile.gsx so i open that and i copy that from here okay and then i go back um i go in the components in the auth create a new component that is called profile.gsx and i paste that here simply save it and now we have to create the layout because i want to display the sidebar on the one side and on the other side i have to display the details like profile uh, user orders and other details okay so for the sidebar i go back in the uh, components layout i have here sidebar.gsx that contain all the options that we need on our sidebar and can also contain the options for the admins and we will handle that later when we will authorize our roles so i copy that from here and then i go back in the layouts create a new file here that is called sidebar so sidebar.gsx and i put that here like this okay so i simply save it from here now we have our um, sidebar here we have our profile here and now we have to create our layout and we have to add that okay and you can see that here by default i have here sidebar okay if i save it from here and i go to the uh, app and in here i create a new folder that is called me so my, uh, my route is going to be slash me in that i create a file that is called page.gsx okay and now in here i have to add uh, the details so i copy this from here and i put that here so i don't need here axios also i don't need that here okay and i will simply uh, display here get here the profile so profile from the components slash auth slash profile so we have our profile here and also i change it to uh, profile page save it now if i go back to my vs code and if i click here you can see that um cannot resolve react router dom because we have to import that from the next slash link okay and that that too is going to be um href okay so i replace that save it now if i go back reload this page so we also i think so have here and i change it to link from next slash link and that is going to be href simply save it and now if i um have to actually where it is in the profile.gsx okay so now we have to comment out this user addresses okay comment out this component i will create that in my upcoming videos so i'll comment out this one as well so now if i click here okay so we have one more error that cannot resolve uh, sidebar so that is going to be layouts slash sidebar save it and now if i click here you can see that this is slash me so if i click here so now i am on my slash me page so you can see that i have here my sidebar these are admin routes the normal user routes and th this is the user profile where we will display the user pro image name email uh, joining date and also we will display all the addresses of that user okay so now here we have to create the layout for that first of all and then we will handle our uh, user profile and logout okay so right now you can see that here we have embedded the sidebar in the profile okay but know that we have to use this layout uh, throughout all the pages okay on all these pages so we, we are going to create a separate layout that will handle all that for us so I simply go back to my vs code what i do is i close this from here and i go in the app in the me i get a nested layout we know that we have our uh, parent layout which is this one okay we will not touch it we will create a separate nested layout 
if you don't know what are nested layouts i have created a separate video on nextjs 13 i have uh, covered all the details of nextjs 13 you can watch that on my channel so in the me i create a new file that is called layout.jsx so in this way it will create the nested layout for us okay so now in that we have to create the layout for our, in which we will display our sidebar and also the component that we are using okay so i simply type here export default function so let's call it user layout okay we will create a separate layout for our admins that is going to be we will get our children here and then in here we will simply return our code okay so now here we have to first of all display title um, so for the title what I do is I will simply use my breadcrumbs here so I go in the um, components in the layouts I have this breadcrumbs dot jsx so what I do is I actually copy this from here these two lines and I will use these right here okay then also I have to add here the section okay so now in the div I will create a h1 give it class of text bold these are uh, tailwind classes so text dash to excel so it will increase the font size and I call it user dash board okay so this is our uh, title of our user uh, layout and now we have to add here this sidebar so after this I also add here empty tags so we don't get here any error okay now here I have to add my sidebar so what I do is I actually go back I need here um, let's copy this okay and I paste that here okay then we need here div copy this from here uh, two divs and one section so I do it like this okay so now we will display our sidebar here and now in the main I have to display my component like we, I have to display the user profile orders okay so on each uh, page basically it will add the sidebar and then our component so now in here I also uh, let's add one more I use here article then I give it class of border okay then border dash gray of 200 so I give it color and then uh, let's give background of white and then shadow shadow small okay and then rounded okay and then let's also give here the margin bottom of 5 and padding of 3 and then at large the padding is going to be uh, 5 okay p-5 and now in here I will add here my children okay so I will render my children here and again children is that component so children like this simply save it and I think so that is it for the user layout I simply save it from here and you also have to import the sidebar actually okay, so let's import that so import the sidebar from here save it and then I have to go back I reload this page so you can see that I have here two layouts one is this and one is this we have our user dashboard and we have to remove this part from here we don't need here this sidebar now in the component this layout will handle that okay so what I do is I will simply remove this entire code from here and also I remove this from here like this um, I think so we also have to remove the main save it and now if I go back now you can see that here now we are using the nested layout okay we add our title that is user dashboard okay you can definitely use here breadcrumbs or if you want to display something else according to your requirements you can do that also but this is the title and then we have here our sidebar again and these are only admin options and we will handle that later once we add our authorization and in here we get our um, user profile now let's display the user details on this page okay and again if you have any confusion you can definitely ask me a question I will definitely uh, reply so what I do is I remove this also sidebar from here save it close this one close the layout and also the sidebar we have to go in the components in the uh, auth in the profile now we know that we have our user in the state so we can get that from the state okay so I will simply type here const we'll get our user 
from use context i will pass in here auth context okay so now we have our user here so what i do is i will display here the username first of all so user dot name save it if i go back um cannot destructure property user of this um if i go here in my layouts in the header so i will actually also make this uh component client side component okay so use client if i save and go back and now you can see that here we get our username okay so now let's display the uh, email okay make sure that you make this component client component and for the email i will use here user dot email so user dot email save it and now here you our user email and for the joined in uh, joined on i will use here user dot created at okay if i save it go back so you will get here that is created at okay so if i simply log here the user i want to show you here save it go back now if i reload this page if i go to the inspect on the console you will see that um, we have here the object and you can see that in the object we only have the email and then the name we don't have here the created ad we don't have here the role of the user we don't also have the image of the user okay so we have to actually handle that and i will handle that in my next video in which i will protect my routes from the unauthenticated users and also i will add my user role user profile picture user created ad and other fields in this session okay right now by default next auth will only add the name and email but in my next video i will basically uh, you can set and customize our session and we will save our data according to our needs right now we can simply leave that as it is okay and for the avatar what i do is i will set a code for that and i will actually type here that if user dot avatar exist then user dot avatar dot url okay i will move this bracket from here otherwise i will use here slash images slash default dot png and for the all i will use here user dot name save it if i go back i get here default image but in my next video i will modify my session and handle my uh, user session so now we have successfully displaying the user profile now let's handle our logout if user want to log out from this uh, application so this is our logout option so we just have to call a function of next auth if i go back uh, here in the sidebar we have this option so i will add here on click oops so on click i will use here logout handler okay so let's get our logout handler and go to the top and i create here cons logout handler in that i just have to call a function that is called sign out and we have to import the sign out from next auth so i use a sign out from next auth slash react so it will automatically sign out the user from the application simply save it okay so now if i go back um cannot be passed to client component props on click um let's make it client component otherwise it, it will not work so use client save it and now if I click here log out you can see that now I am logged out okay so you can see that here now I am not logged in we I don't get here the name email and also we got here sign in button but we have to redirect the user to the uh, home page because now user is not authenticated and slash me is a protected route okay so this is the issue in my next video what I, I will do is I will basically first of all protect my routes from the unauthenticated users like if I reload it I can access this slash me so this is protected route we have to protect it from the unauthenticated users so in my next video i will first of all handle my routes i will protect it from unauthenticated users and also i will modify my session and add the uh, role and other details of the user in this session okay so if you have any question related to this video you can post it in the comment section i will definitely reply there and also you can get the source code of this video in the description of this video so i will see you in the next lecture